Brothers and sisters, the gospel today is from John the Evangelist. Jesus said to the Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, We speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things, you do not believe. How will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes in and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive demons, they will speak new languages, they will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of the God. Jesus compares the Spirit of God and grace that the Spirit brings to the wind. The wind blows where it wills. You hear the sound that it makes, but you do not know where it goes or it comes from. So it is with everyone begotten of the Spirit. This incredible, interesting comparison that Jesus makes of the Spirit to the wind suggests that neither can be controlled or manipulated or even predicted. The Spirit is free gift of a loving God. And God loves surprises, especially surprising us. Another word for this is grace. And grace doesn't fit nicely in Nicodemus' world view and in many of our lives as well. Nicodemus' confusion brings a sharp reaction from Jesus. You, a teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? He says. This kind of interaction is the fruit of the Spirit unleashed by faith in Jesus. And it always starts when we are born again in water, in spirit, our baptism. As if it wasn't enough, Nicodemus was confused. Jesus now says that he himself must be lifted up, as Moses lifted it up the serpent in the desert, that all who believe might have eternal life in Christ. Of course, Jesus is speaking of the cross in this passage. From the blessed cross, the unpredictable and freely gift and giving spirit would be released for all who have faith. The good news in this, despite Jesus' frustrations that the Lord does not give up on Nicodemus, nor does he ever give up on us, ever, giving up on us is not in Jesus' dictionary. May you trust the presence of the Lord in your life and in the lives of those around you. 
May you bring that spirit of love and wonderful grace that the Lord provides to you, to others. Trust in the Lord, be joyful, and stay in peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.